because we have Aldana Bonmati yeah. with us as well as Kira Wash. Please, just come, come in the middle. Us. Come in between us. Come in between us. Come, <laughs> come yeah, get yeah. cosy, squeeze in here. So, I, how are you feeling? Obviously, congratulations, a huge win, a brace for you tonight, picking up right where you left off. Brilliant way to start your title defence. No, it's for you, you scored. Yeah, you scored. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Good evening. Um, it's good to start uh, the season of the Champions League like this uh, with our people here and scoring five goals. Uh, this is our uh, goal today and we keep going uh, for more. Kira, talk to me about your role within this team because obviously you came over here from Manchester City. Big price tag, mm -hmm. rightfully so. Talk to, me, talk to us a little bit about your role within this team and playing with so many amazing players as you are. Yeah, I think um, obviously it took a while to settle in. I think the, the style is a lot different. You've always got to keep on the move. But I think ultimately my role in this team, how I see it, is getting the ball to players like Aitana and Patri, Alexia, Mariona and, and Caro and just letting them kind of do their thing. And yeah, just control the game from the back and watch them do their magic, which they happen to do every game. <laughs> and Aitana, what do you think Kira's brought to this team since she's come in? Uh, she's so good. She's so good. <laughs> More than that. <laughs> no, no, she's a fantastic player, also a fantastic person. We, we laugh a lot because uh, she knows a lot of Spanish. <laughs> All right, let's hear the Spanish. Let's hear it. Come she's, on, come on. She's me up there. No, no. no. <laughs> I try to learn English uh, from her and I try to you to teach, to me, teach yeah. Spanish sometimes, yeah. sometimes, no? Catalan. But she's so good. We oh, are Catalan, of course. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's she hear tries it. to. No, I don't know Catalan, but oh, she right. always tries to teach me. <laughs> but we have, we have a good relationship. We well, can start with her last name. But Mati, it means like good morning, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. So, good morning, Aitana. Good morning. Bonanit. Aitana, good morning. Bonanit. Bonanit. Bonanit is good night. <laughs> yeah. See, I know that one. <laughs> Bonanit. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of you know letting players do their things or teammates doing their things, Aitana, you and Caroline have seen the have a great understanding with one another. She out on the score sheet in terms of assist three times tonight, but twice with you. I mean, talk to me a little bit about how you have such a great understanding and linking up with her. Yeah, we we have been playing together since um, four years ago, maybe. Also with Torrejon, uh, we we call the right side because uh, we knew each other. We knew uh, the moments of uh, every every player, and we tried to have help each other. Yeah. And both of you, to both of you, how does a team like this continue to just get better yeah. every single year? Jonathan Geraldes, you know, he's done a fantastic job, but talk to me about how you guys continue, because staying at the top is so hard. It's getting there is hard, but staying there is harder. Yeah, I think that's the motivation for this club, is to arrive in the Champions League final every year. I think if you look at um, the mentality of these girls, you know, that's what I, I saw when I came in. It was just always constantly being at the top in training every single day. It's it's so competitive and I think that speaks for itself is that that's what this club deserves nothing less than us to keep arriving in those big moments for big players like I Tanner and, and the rest of the team. Competition. Oh sorry, do you want to no, say yes, something? Uh, the key is I think is the mentality to keep winning. Uh, we have the mentality to keep um, being the, the best team, no? Talking about that mentality, a lot of times Things that are really important lie in the details and obviously you all have a very elite mentality and you do have this healthy competition within the squad as well. Before the game tonight, Jonathan Giraldes was talking about trying to shake things up a little bit to keep opponents on their toes, not really know what to expect from you all. Part of that being the freedom for everyone to change roles, to swap roles or positions on the, play, on the pitch. Do you feel as though that also gives you a lot more freedom and mobility to be a bit more creative, perhaps? Um, I, I think you can kind of see that in the way we play anyway. I think um, there's a lot of movement, people moving in different spaces. And I think if you look at the like of Mariona, I think she's um, really special in that sense. She plays midfield, wing, number nine. and. She always adds such a different dimension to the game. But, yeah, I think, you know, also Ingrid playing centre-back today, um, I think she did exceptional. And I think that, just again, just shows the strength of this team. You know, even in training, people playing different positions. But, yeah, it's really exciting to be a part of it. And tonight's opposition, Benfica, I thought they gave you a good run in the first 20 minutes mm. or so. It wasn't until you scored. How did you feel going up against a team like that in the opening 20 minutes? What was it that you adjusted to be able to create the opportunity to score? Pardon, pardon, can you repeat me? Can you repeat me? 
Do you want me to answer? Um, yeah, I think, I think obviously they went man for man, so it was difficult to play out. I think we needed to find the spare player, and in the first half, that was Caro, so it was just about getting the ball to her. But, yeah, they were really aggressive, really strong, and um, liked to break up play. So, yeah, I think it took us a bit to get grips to the game, but like you said, I think once we started finding Caro and Aitana and... Cara was, you know, making opportunities and I think, you know, we started to control the game a little bit better. Ask Adana in Espanol. Yeah, please. Okay, um, I'm trying to remember what the question was now. <laughs> what was it that they adjusted to be able to, because Benfica obviously came oh, after right, them, course. you know, been in 20 minutes, what did they adjust oh, okay. so they could get the job? Oh, yeah. oh now uh, you understand me. Good night. Yeah, um, they start so good, uh, so aggressive, um, but we had the passion to to know that uh, we are going to score some, some time, you know. Mm. Uh, we are a team that we can suffer also. We, we know suffer. Uh, two years, three years, four years ago, um, this wasn't um, happened. But right now, mm. we can suffer and also uh, scoring, no? Yeah, they definitely challenged you probably more than most teams so far this season, even domestically, right? So it is nice to come up and have a bit of a push and, and challenge every now and again to help you all continue to grow. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you for Thank joining you us. For us. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Muchas gracias. And uh, the next time in Catalan, okay? The next time we'll do in Catalan. Adeu. 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 Thank you. Brilliant. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. OK, well, it is time for just a very quick break. Obviously, the uh, fans here will be hoping to catch up with their idols here, but we'll be back in just a few moments. Stick around as we will continue with our analysis of how Barcelona have managed to romp their way to success yet once again, this time against Benfica.